Hi everyone, this is Digital Adapt Introduction and Understanding, and today we're going to be looking at Edmodo, learning uh, LMS for um, mainly looking at um, its effects with higher education and uh, how it can be used and um, why it has been successful in uh, the primary and secondary school levels. So um, basically looking at Edmodo, um, it uses a familiar social media atmosphere to give students a reliable educational environment similar to that of um, let's say the Google, Google Drive and uh, the Facebook as well. So, and Google Drive we'll be looking at more in depth uh, here in the next few videos. So, it allows you to connect with others on your educational path and even keep up to date on assignments and grades. It basically connects um, the student, parent, and or guardian with the teacher in a, uh, in a way that other websites can do, but Edmodo has been working very hard over these past five to ten years to basically science why um, why they've gone from the Facebook look, which they had basically a mirror image of Facebook, and now they've gone into a completely different direction, um, one that has its own unique feel and does work for uh, the educational context. So for setting up with Edmodo, it's um, extremely simple. All you need is the uh, basic principal information and uh, your name, date of birth, and your email address, and uh, you're basically ready to rock. Um, what I did want to look at here is the actual page itself. So Edmodo, as you can see, it follows the the very cool um, cool tones, and it has a bar similar to LinkedIn at the top. Um, whereas LinkedIn focuses your 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 navigation to the top, um, Facebook fo focuses your navigation to the left and right, um, keeping keeping your your focus on the center of the page. Um, in an environment like LinkedIn or Edmodo, um, the design choice has basically, it's been done in a way that is keeping your information on the left to right psycho uh, psychological feel, like how, how the human mind is, is generally supposed to read, but it, it portrays that information in um, basically in a sequence. So you'll see that when you come down your right hand side of the page you're automatically fronted with your course and the folder that you're currently in or the information that you're currently trying to access and then you can see uh, you can go into posts which relate to the individual you can go into folders which relate into a breakdown of the entirety of a semester or a term then you can see your members and as you go down here you can see small groups which break down into um, basically the specific areas that can be set up by a teacher um, to focus um, conversation or information into a specific area or onto a specific topic. So the news feed still centers like uh, the LinkedIn also, whereas everything comes down the center of the page. It's uh, not convoluted at all. Um, it's just one flowing scroll. Um, and it doesn't really have too much with respect to um, setting up a big history of who you are or a profile so to speak um, it's more or less just putting yourself more or less just putting yourself online in the educational manner for you to be able to uh, access information from a teacher uh, be able to relate that information back to them and um, have your classmates hone in on assessment evaluation um, in, in, in an environment that is uh, very well suited for education you can have um, moderators or other professors um, looking in at this information as well as uh, you could bring the the, the apparent guardian um, influence in as well so it's just another means for connecting information with students as well as assignments grades um, any kind of anything that relates to where you're at with school so um, extremely valuable um, I think it's been missed by many and I can see it growing to uh, a new level as Edmodo currently is connecting with over 27 million people in eight different countries around the world so it allows for involved parties to collaborate together on a secure network this site takes the learner specific needs to a whole new level and it provides them with specific educational applications to build their knowledge and understanding so um, it, it, it's focused around education. 
Thank you very much for watching Digital Adapt, Introduction and Understanding on Enomoto. And next we will be looking, uh, going into the YouTube and understanding YouTube um, with respect to information as well as uh, the Google Drive and setting up your Google account. Thank you.